Got the sealer coat on. Looking real good so far. So I'll put the base coat on and uh, take another short video. Base coat's all done. Put about four or five coats. Wanted to make sure this color's covered. These are big panels. So this color will really glow out in the sun. Should look real nice. I did the jams nice and neat since they're two toned. Looking real good. So I'm going to let this dry probably uh, 20 minutes or so. Then I'll go ahead and clear. I'm going to be clearing with uh, JC6700 shop line clear. I like that. Dries very, very slow though. So as soon as I'm done, pull a little bit of the paper where it could bridge up like the two-tone line on the, on the back uh, where the hatch and tailgate are. And uh, I'm out of here. So clear coat in about 20 minutes. Monday, I came in yesterday and uh, wet sand and buffed it. Want to show you the uh, outcome of it? I think it came out very good. So I still got the black around the windows to do. I'm deciding on how much to take off the masking paper. Probably will leave the windows in. Possibly take everything else off. So, coming along. My nineteen sixty six suburban GMC, true custom. Uh, the trim came around the windows So only the GMC's came with that obviously So this is a Dodge Copperhead they call it So I bought the expensive paint if you buy the cheaper paint You don't get the correct pearls in it. Let's see if I can get a close-up of it Very outstanding, a lot of depth to this paint job. So I did all the bodywork and paint. Every panel on here was painted separately. So Snowden seats, I just got those back. Took over four months to get. I think they look great. I did all the uh, carpeting. Did the interior matte finish. That is a Toyota titanium color. Uh, auto meter gauges. Blueprint 496. Smooth the bumpers. Original grill. Every panel on here, original to the truck. So I took new headlights, uh, crystal headlights, new uh, park lamps. I use automotive clear. So it came with the original, uh, actually the moldings around the windshield are original to this truck. I just had them polished by Woody's up in Clearwater. It did a great job, reasonably priced. All the black on here, base coat, clear coat, billet specialty wheels, brand new mirrors, painted them matte, base coat, clear coat. Bolts are done in gloss black base, base coat clear coat. Handles brand new. So the back opens real nice. Original supports. Widen the tubs two inches. So I had Snowden uh, custom build the rear seat, 44 inches wide. I had 46 in between the tubs. Stock, I believe, is 50. So start it up. I still got work to do to it. Obviously, still got the sliders. 
it's four sliders I got the frames all rebuilt all set to go auto meter gauges still got some wiring putting a uh, Audison stereo in here Holly sniper Super Street Fighter. Uh, all brand new block. It's a brand new blueprint block. Brand new blueprint heads. Seems like it has a lot of torque. It, that was dyno did uh, six. 10 or 611 so just put the door panels in bought the uh, street rod armrest like I said I did the carpeting still got a bolt in the rear seat original headliner to this truck still get uh, some wiring to smooth in and work on the back here but that's my uh, Holly sniper set up so going with an Audison uh, stereo gonna order that soon got the doors to close nice so beautiful color really out in the Sun so I don't have much clearance on both sides but you know what it's working so quarter inch God forbid if I get a flat tire. <laughs> so I'll show you the interior. Again, actually I painted the headliner. This is original. Like I said, LED lights. All the autometer gauges are full sweep. Got this closing real nice. Original supports. So, gonna be working on the slider soon. So anyway, wanted to show you an update. This has came a long ways in probably eight months, I guess. So a lot of CPP components, uh, big disc brake kit, lowering kit, uh, changed some cross member. I didn't, the original cross member is original to this truck. Now what I did, as you can see, I ran the CBF serpentine system. Well, these trucks didn't come with big blocks except for like the uh, 351E, which this truck did have. And there was a notch in the firewall. I was hoping it would fit, but it did not fit. So I had to move the engine back two inches just to get this quarter inch of clearance in between the idler arm and the black magic fan. So I had to modify the firewall. So which was an extreme pain in the butt. Not for the timid. But uh Still got some work to do to it, but I'll tell you what, it's coming along, has not been tuned up yet. So, I do have air going in this. In fact, I got it in my loft. 
vintage air complete setup with the uh, deluxe controls low car shifter like I said auto meter full sweep gauges I wrap the steering wheel uh, coming along real good so I did pretty much all the work myself uh, have not had it on the road yet hood closes real nice just put this on like three weeks ago one more walk around for all you people that uh, want wanting to paint there is a difference between your expensive paint and your cheap paint thirteen hundred dollars a gallon I probably got probably twenty five to three thousand just in base coat on this so there is a difference more expensive uh, the paint this is PPG Deltron and Deltron has I use Deltron and Omni Plus Omni Plus does not have all the toners the correct toners it'll be close but you won't get the correct pearls so anyway guys update this came a long ways probably a 1500 hour project all the lights work brand new wiring so I think it's coming along so appreciate you guys watching